So we had a little incident on the show yesterday that was not smooth. And while I was leading that segment, we had interruptions and I sat silently while all of that played out. Also not ideal. Our guest, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, who is beloved and needed to be allowed to speak with the openness and respect that the show is all about, was interrupted. Do we debate with fire here? Yes. But we must also give each other the space to express ourselves. As the only original member of the six-year-old amazing daytime ride known as Outnumbered, I especially want to rock and roll with every voice and perspective at the table. We don't censor on this show. And that's why we're winning weekdays at noon. That was a clip from Harris Faulkner at Outnumbered on Fox News earlier today. And basically, she's backing down from what I felt was a good job at shutting down Newt Gingrich's anti-George Soros dog whistle yesterday on the show, where he tried to basically pin everything going wrong in America on George Soros, which, as I noted in that episode, is something that a lot of people on the right are increasingly doing because the entire narrative of a secretive group of Jews, whether it's Bernie Sanders or whether it's George Soros or anyone else controlling the left, is a deeply troubling phenomenon. Even if isolated claims about George Soros being a prominent donor are true, the the, the tone and using the word verboten, which is a German word which you can associate to an ugly time in history, you know, that, that reality was something that I think Fox News was right to shut down. And I want to play that clip for you again, just to give you the full context, and we'll jump right back in. Yeah, look, the number one problem in almost all these cities is George Soros elected left-wing, anti-police, pro-criminal district attorneys who refuse to keep people locked up. Uh, Just yesterday, they put somebody back on the street who's wanted for two different murders in New York City. Uh, You cannot solve this problem. And both Harris and Biden have talked very proudly about what they call progressive district attorneys. Progressive district attorneys are anti-police, pro-criminal, and overwhelmingly elected with George Soros' money. And they're a major cause of the violence we're seeing because they keep putting the violent criminals back on the street. I'm not sure we need to bring George get Soros the last... into this. <laughs> I was going to say you get the last word, he Speaker. <laughs> he, he, he paid for it. I mean, why can't we discuss the fact that millions no, of he dollars he spent? I, I agree with Melissa. Well, George Soros be... doesn't need to be a part of this conversation. Okay. So it's verboten. All right, we're going to. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, A historic day at the White House. We covered it from stem to stem, stem to stern. For major change. So again, from, from my perspective, I thought that was inappropriate from Newt Gingrich. It's not to say that there isn't any instances of George Soros donating to Democrats and that those Democrats might take policy positions that disagree with conservatives and that conservatives can say those policy disagreements have led to scenarios we don't like. But to to focus on Soros, a man that's got to be a few years away from dying, if, if not sooner, that's not holding office, that is far less wealthy than a lot of other major American billionaires. It just, it really is rooted in the idea, like Donald Trump has talked about, that there are people in the shadows running things, that there are people behind the scenes puppeteering your political enemies, and that real Americans, and what they mean by that, are white Protestant Christian Americans are being duped or are being controlled by secret foreigners by secret non-American voices that want to destroy the American way of life, whether they're Jewish people like Bernie Sanders or Jewish people like George Soros, they are not true Americans and they want to take your America away from you. It's deeply troubling. And again, I thought they did a good job yesterday because as I've noted, Fox has had some conspiracies in this regard. And I don't think Faulkner was censoring him. I really don't think so. My view of that was that she was suggesting it's not really all that relevant to make this about one random Jewish American billionaire. 
It really isn't. And it's troubling that he had an insistence upon doing that. So I don't think that was censoring. I think that was challenging. And I think she handled it right. Because at some point, the intent by Gingrich was not good faith. So I'm very disappointed to see this. And I'm not somebody that supports Fox News. But I was sort of, you know, I guess optimistic to see that, you know, this was another instance where maybe they're, you know, practicing a bit of common sense journalism, that they know that people are using their platform to spread ugly ideology, even if there are kernels of truth within some of the isolated claims, and that they don't want to be part and parcel of that. But apparently they do.